Hi guys! So today I'm going to do a video on stuff that you can do to kind of get into kitten space as a stray. Um, a lot of the time, a lot of the stuff that you think of and that I think of when it comes to kitten play does in fact involve having an owner or someone else to do a lot of it with um, in an intimate sense. Whether that be, in, you know, the not quite PG-13 stuff or higher. Um, or simply things like, you know, playing and the pets and whatnot. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that you really can't get uh, without that connection, but you don't want to just give somebody that connection for the sake of it. So, ways that I personally get to get in space, and I use that as my escape from time to time, are as follows. A big one that I do is uh, you can get something kind of like this. Um, you don't have to get something, you can probably like make something easily, but this is like 97 cents I think at Walmart. It's just a cute little cat toy, crinkly. My cat loves it, um, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's been, it's seen better days. She has her own, but she tries to eat mine too. So um, a little bell on it. And it's easy to bat around and play cat toys with yourself. Um, my cat within herself does it, and so it's definitely not out of character for a cat to do toss something like this up in the air and catch it or to bat it away, such like that. So it's it's pretty normal honestly to do that. It's something small and simple. It's a good chance my cat's gonna come and try and attack that toy now. <laughs> good thing my door's shut. Um, but it's something that you can do that doesn't really involve a crazy amount of money, it's not expensive, and it's super simple. Honestly, I find myself enjoying times where I just sit there and I might not even be full on cat mode, I can just be playing with it on a desk and going back and forth with it, or uh, doing that with like a little bell. Um, honestly, anything similar to it is really easy to play with. I'm a huge fan of that, I think it's super simple and straightforward gets the job done and it's something that you can do that's fun and gets you kind of in that headspace without being both uh, complicated or hard and it doesn't involve a lot of outside help. Now it can be fun if you do have somebody who's understanding of it. I do have a few friends who aren't actually part of the kitten play community but are very accepting of it that will actually toss it at me and I'll bat it away. So we'll play catch essentially um, and that I can do for ages and it's tons of fun but it's not something you have to have someone else to do. It can easily be something that you do with yourself and I, I do it fairly regularly honestly. So another thing that I enjoy is, and this one, I the problem is is unfortunately my toys in the process of me moving got kind of attacked by my cat. <laughs> so they've seen better days, I need to get new ones for myself. Um, so there's this. This one was a bit on the more expensive end. You can get something similar for it, uh, uh, similar to it cheaper. But one thing that I often do is either I set it on a table or something, or I'll actually like pin it between cushions so that it holds itself up, and then I can play with this part. Uh, it's another one that's really enjoyable with someone else who can actually play with it, but it's not a necessity again. You can honestly set it up for yourself, and then you can just get into that headspace and totally play with it, and, and just, yeah, it's, <laughs> you can play with it, definitely, trust me there. Um, another thing that I often do that doesn't actually require any purchases of any sort, um, the only downside is you might potentially annoy other people, but a lot of other people have actually found, seem to find it cute or kind of funny. Um, so it's something to do, you can do it with yourself, you can do it uh, around other people. It's one of the few things that I can do when I need that headspace, but I'm in a busy situation where I'm at the union, which is like at the university or something. And so I will sit and I'll just slowly bat stuff off of tables. And I find that beyond entertaining to knock pencils off of tables, to knock highlighters, just anything. My big thing is is try not to knock anything that might get you yelled at off of a table. That's something that's a little on the uh, iffy end because it's hard to explain to someone with that one. Um, the other thing that I often seem to do that is something I kind of do with the other things as well. Um, but the big thing is, is it is kind of an expenditure on its own. It can be a little bit pricey, but it's something that I definitely felt like I should invest in. Oh, the clicking is so annoying. I 
have gotten these paws. And I can try and get this one on too. Now, there, yeah, see? I have paws. So the way that these paws are made is there's these top pieces and they have just enough room for you to put like the tip of your finger in them so you can move them. But the rest of it's like a mitten, but there's no place for your thumb to go. So what it does is it limits your ability for uh, motion in the sense that you don't have an opposable thumb, which cats don't have opposable thumbs, which means batting at things, you're less inclined to do a natural reaction of, of grabbing something with a thumb and, and pulling something down. You have to try a little harder and it definitely makes it more entertaining and it makes it a little harder and it makes it more fun, personally. Um, I feel a lot more like a cat because I have to act more like a cat. I can't do human grabby things otherwise. I did spend the money to get these particular paws. These are from eShop Mania on Etsy, um, but you don't have to get these. Not only do they have similar kinds on uh, Amazon and eBay that are bigger and stuffed more, uh, my main reason for these is I didn't really want ones that were so overbearing in size. So these were smaller and more compact for my liking, um, but you don't even need to buy those. Honestly, one of the things you can do that I've seen a lot of people do if you really want to, if you can, can't really see yourself avoiding using your thumbs on your own, um, if you buy mittens, like the mittens that don't have fingers, not gloves, but full on mittens, you can sew or tape or whatever the uh, thumb part down so that it's not usable, so you don't put your thumb in it, and so your thumb goes in with the rest of your fingers, and so you have to only use this piece, and you can't do this. Personally, I find it very helpful for the whole kitten space thing, simply because um, it forces me to limit the ability to do a lot of things that I would do out of habit, that would be picking up glasses and stuff, or you know, to grab things. I have to think more like an animal in the sense of how do I mess with this and it gets me into that mindset a lot easier. These are stuff that I just personally do. Um, I can't say that they work for everyone. I also know that there are oh, plenty of other things out there. These are just the main go-to things that are quick, cheap, and easy for me to do uh, that don't really involve a lot of other people or if they do, they don't require you to have an owner. Not everyone's going to act the same. Some of this stuff is totally going to work for you, and some of it's totally not going to work for you. The biggest part that I have to say, though, for all of it is don't just hand somebody something so important. Your loyalty and your submission are a big deal. They have to earn it. That's really all I've got for you guys today. Um, it isn't a heavy amount of stuff, I know. But I mostly didn't want to bombard with a whole bunch of really small things that seemed um, only slightly connected. These were the main three to four things that I do that are a regular thing that can be done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, enjoy being your little animal selves out there, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it's beautiful outside, whether that be sunshine or beautiful gray skies. Love you guys. Bye.